7,000 cases, 90 received final orders of removal in absentia, 90%. 90% did not show up? Correct. Here to react is Texas GOP Congressman Dan Crenshaw. Congressman Crenshaw, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. I guess you knew that that number was 90%, but that is shocking. And then McAleenan goes on to say it was a, it's a full-blown emergency. Why won't Congress do anything? Well, I think the Democrats in the House have a, a totally different goal in mind. I mean, they, they don't believe it's in cri a crisis. They refuse to acknowledge us. They refuse to add the $4.5 billion in humanitarian aid into the recent spending package. I mean, they're just, they're, they're, they're living in a different world than we are. So what's it like being in Texas, uh, knowing that the Border Patrol on a daily basis are being cut out to let out to dry? They have to deal with this daily, and yet all you guys are doing in the House is trying to, uh, trying to find people in contempt of Congress and trying to redo the Mueller report. Right. That, 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 is, all they're, that is all they actually care about. They're, 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 um, they're teetering between investigations and impeachment. That's really all they can think about. They really don't care about governing. Uh, and governing would include solving this crisis. You know, like you said, our Border Patrol is stretched extremely thin. Their morale is going to be low at this point, uh, for sure. And uh, because they feel like no one has their back, and that's really not fair to our men and women down there. Absolutely. I, I know that uh, yesterday when uh, Kevin McAleenan was up on Capitol Hill, he was talking about uh, we need uh, $4.5 billion. 3.3 uh, would be humanitarian and 1.1 for border operations. Is that enough? Uh, it's not enough, but it's a good start. I think that would be going towards uh, more detention space to house all of these people so that we're not letting them loose. Remember, you used that figure of 90%. 90% people who claim asylum then don't show up for their hearing. Well, that tells us something. It tells us that people are taking advantage of the system because they know they'll be let loose in the United States. If we don't allow that to happen, if we adjudicate their claims right then and there and don't let them mm -hmm. go, we will reverse this situation. It will, it will create a disincentive to come here and abuse the system.